After a 2020 run for Congress in California didn't pan out, Sean Foyt chose what some might see as a higher calling, hitting the road for the Let Us Worship Tour. It quickly caught on as thousands gathered in cities across America to praise the Lord. Since the tour coincided with the height of the COVID pandemic, it led to accusations of Sean being a super spreader of the virus. That also led to the title for his new documentary. I could feel something inside of me, like we got to take a stand. Christian singer and activist Sean Foyt leading what's called Let Us Worship. This guy is probably responsible for hundreds of deaths. We thank you, Lord, that there is another story that the media isn't telling. It is one of hope. There's a pandemic. There's a plague. Here's a move of God. It's going to change America. We recently talked to Sean about that on CBN's The Prayer Link. Well, Sean, in, in your documentary, people actually accuse you of causing deaths because you held your events during the pandemic. What's your mm -hmm. response to that? Well, we know that no, that wasn't true because, you know, there was no single COVID outbreak of COVID related to any of our events. And that's kind of a, I, a kind of a spoiler because at the end we share that. I felt like it was important to let people see the journey that we were on the people that were for us, the people that were against us, but yet in the midst of it, God was breaking out in every single city that we went to. Christians are rising up, I'm telling you guys. And what do you want them to take away from it when it's all said and done? I think courage and, and boldness. I, I want people to feel like empowered to know that even when they face resistance, and even actually sometimes the resistance uh, is is the very thing that proves that you're on your way to a breakthrough i think a lot of times in america you know christians are not really used to pushback we're not really used to resistance but yet jesus calls us into places where we're going to face resistance and it's exactly what happened with us you know here we have this amazing harvest this incredible, uh, you know, a sweeping of revival that we were experiencing, but yet we have, you know, Antifa attacking us. We have protesters, uh, you know, antagonizers. We have governors fining us. Foyt says the documentary will be in some 500 theaters beginning September 29th. And we're going to see, you know, this wave of revival that we experienced across America is actually going to be in theaters. And we're going to try to plan to have an evangelist be in every single theater that it's shown in. So that at the end of the theater, you can, you can people can get saved, get healed, get delivered. I mean, that's what we want to see happen. Sean also recently released a new song called Imago Dei, Latin for image of God, inspired by what he saw as apathy following the historic Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. I've been praying for, for the overturning of Roe v. Wade since I was a teenager. I mean, I have this life band on. I've had this one on for 10 years. I had one on before this for 12. Um, but I was so discouraged when it finally happened because the response of the church was so weak. I mean, it was pathetic. People were like not, not celebrating here. I'm thinking we should have millions of Christians dancing around the, the streets of America. You know, God answered a 50 year prayer request. And I was about to get on Twitter and Facebook and just start raging on <laughs> the state of the church. And, and the Lord spoke to me and he said, sing the song of life over a generation, remind them that they are made in my image. And, you know, songs will go to places that sermons and tweets will never go. You know, they'll touch the human heart. Sean believes Roe had to go in order for real revival to break forth in America. I think that, you know, it was a curse. It was a it was child sacrifice. It's a death decree that was hanging over the nation. You know, only China and North Korea are worse, mm -hmm. you know, on their abortion rules. I mean, that puts us in not very good company <laughs> in right. America. And of course, now the battle goes to the states and we're starting to see these victories. This year's Let Us Worship Tour finale will be held on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., October 22nd. Foyt says they'll also announce a 50-state Kingdom to the Capitol initiative to bring worship to all 50 states over the next two years. Wendy Griffith, CBN News.